Ladies and gentlemen, hello. I'm Jan Zrimec from the Institute of Microbial Sciences and Technologies in Slovenia. I will present to you a recently published research regarding the formation of band smearing in agarose gels when amplifying heterogeneous DNA. In DNA analysis, such as bacterial metagenomic analysis, it is important to be able to accurately amplify genes from a sample and especially to preserve the slight differences in the gene's nucleotide sequences. In the picture, the bacterial 16S rRNA gene is shown. The gene contains variable regions with very high sequence heterogeneity, which are depicted with lighter coloring. These regions are used for determining the microbial richness and diversity in different environments. The quality of amplified genes with polymerase chain reaction is often checked by applying the amplified DNA in electrophoretic gels. The presence of additional bands and smear around the expected band signal the presence of PCR artifacts. However, we must consider that additional bands and smear in electrophoretic gels can also arise from secondary or tertiary DNA structure, such as from heteroduplexes forming between 16S rRNA genes in PCR. So, in our study, we isolated DNA from environments with different reported 16S rRNA gene heterogeneity to show that, indeed, the extent of smearing in agarose gels is proportional to the heterogeneity of target DNA. We then created a pool of highly heterogeneous synthetic oligonucleotides which mimicked a single variable region of the 16S rRNA gene to further analyze the properties of smear formation and to obtain the nucleotide sequences in the separate band and smear fractions. The sequences were used in our bioinformatic analysis where we created a new approach to DNA structure prediction by using informatic methods. We revealed the DNA in the smear fraction contains less base pairing than in the band fraction, and that the data points to the formation of multi-strand pairing DNA structures such as shown in the picture. So, up until now, we have shown that the smear is just a structural fraction of the correct size PCR product. Therefore, we examined how the elimination of the smear fraction can affect bacterial analysis based on the 16S RNA gene. We showed that unnecessary smear elimination can cause a large underestimation of bacterial species richness, such as S observed and Chao 1 estimators, shown by the blue and black lines respectively, and underestimation of bacterial diversity, determined by the Shannon index, shown by the red line. To conclude, we caution that the smear can hold important information for our analysis, and prior to its elimination, we suggest that PCR amplicons should be tested in denaturing alkaline gels to determine the true source of the smear and whether it should be eliminated. For more details on this study, please read our paper published in the Journal of Microbiological Methods. Thank you very much for your attention. Please visit www.imst.si to find out more about our very interesting microbiological research.